Well, hi students, and welcome to this course in Western Civilization. This is Dr. Michael Bogart, your instructor. I'm standing here in the foothills of Central California, which I think is a beautiful place to begin thinking and talking about our great Western Civilization. I'm teaching this course because I believe that people today should be familiar with the heritage of our Western tradition. Don't misunderstand me, there are other great civilizations all over the world, past and present. But the focus of this course will be on the achievements, failures, ideas, and works of art, music, architecture, literature, and drama of our Western tradition. Now, I don't care whether you're in this class because you're excited about the subject or whether it's just something that you were advised to enroll in. It really doesn't matter to me because I think that you will become interested and motivated to learn and enjoy our Western tradition because you're in this class. Now, I want to speak to several key issues. What is our Western civilization, our attitude toward it in this course, and more practically, how this course is structured? So first, let's be clear on what Western civilization actually is. It is the culture that has arisen from a fusion of ideas, practices, and outlook that arose in Europe and the Middle East and has spread beyond these regions and exerted a huge influence worldwide. Today, it's even become dominant in distant lands like North and South America, Australia, New Zealand, and many other places. Okay, how about attitude? In many institutions today, Western civilization, Western tradition, Western culture, whatever people want to call it, it's in disfavor. Now, maybe it's an effort to swing the pendulum back from a century ago when Western civilization was considered superior to all others. But there may be less noble motives behind this trend as well. Be that as it may, as someone who has traveled a fair amount in my life, I can assure you that all cultures have both their great and noble achievements and their disgraceful, demeaning, and outright dark sides and histories. We're certainly going to look at the downsides of Western civilization in this course, but our emphasis will be on the flow of events that produce the development and accomplishments of what I consider to be a great civilization. Now about the structure. This course will move along very quickly through the 16 units. There will be assignments to complete in each unit, and the units are sometimes called modules. Please read the syllabus carefully and look over the modules to make sure you understand exactly what is expected of you in each one. I have tried to design this course so that almost anyone can succeed who is willing to learn and put in the effort. Please attend consistently and make sure that written assignments are in correct English, including formatting, spelling, and punctuation. So I hope that you're excited about our journey. I know I am. And I hope that you learn a lot about our great Western civilization. I hope it will be helpful not only in your life practically and professionally, but also it'll be really enjoyable to you. Again, welcome to the class and let's get started learning.